without wasting any time, we'll go into the next topic, which is the chemical disinfectants. Uh, as was mentioned previously, disinfection, the term disinfection means we are removing all the, patho most of the path pathogenic microbes, but not bacterial spores. High level disinfection means the process that kills mycobacterium tuberculosis. What are the factors affecting disinfection? One is the instrument or the, the area has to be properly cleaned. The organic load of the, the, the object, the type and level of contamination on the surface, the concentration, the exposure time and temperature of the disinfectants. The physical structure of the instrument also is, uh, is a factor. Uh, the, the instruments with crevices like uh, uh, and hinges like forceps and lumen like cannulae that requires extra uh, attention. The pH of the solution, glutaraldehyde is active in an alkaline pH, hardness of water and next is most important is this Spalding classification. So there is usually a question whether uh, should I uh, uh, disinfect the stethoscope? How should I disinfect the OT chapels. So that is uh, determined by this classification. All items in an operation theater or in a hospital are categorized according to the degree of risk of infection from their use. So they are classified into critical, semi-critical and non-critical uh, instruments. Critical instruments or uh, equipments are those that enters sterile tissue like a, a, a scalp vein. They are sterilized with heat, ETO or plasma, even your IOLs or the implants, all those things are critical. You cannot disinfect them, you have to sterilize them. Semi-critical uh, uh, equipments are those which contact with mucosa, broken skin, and they need high level disinfection. Non-critical items, uh, contacts with only normal skin. Washing or scrubbing with a detergent and water is enough for them, or you can use a low or intermediate level disinfectant. See, these are the examples of certain instruments. Critical in, uh, uh, instruments are implants, needles, knife. Though all those have to be sterilized. There is no need for uh, uh, disinfection or chemical disinfection for them. Semi-critical instruments are those that touches the mucosa, like laryngoscopes. Those, those also need high-level disinfection. Non-critical are thermometers, stethoscope, bedpans. Th those can be cleaned by a low-level disinfectant. The levels of disinfection, as I have mentioned earlier, high level disinfection means the spores and the tubercle bacilli are tackled. The types of disinfection are thermal and chemical. Thermal means boiling, steaming, hot water. If you are boiling, it has to be boiled for 20 minutes in a covered vessel and do not add anything in between. Our habit is that when you, you keep the sterilizer on and then keep on putting instruments into it. That is not proper. And uh, when you are boiling, you have to take out the instruments after 20 minutes. But if you are steaming it in a pressure cooker, then you can leave the items in the container till you are, you are using it. Some of the chemical disinfectants that are used is one is iodophos. This is an intermediate level disinfectant. It is less effective against mycobacterium tuberculosis. The advantage is that it is less irritant than the iodine compounds. But then you have to give a two minute contact time. That is why you uh, 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 use uh, Septidin or uh, uh, povidonidin drops to disinfect the ocular surface and then leave it for about two to three minutes. Chlorhexidin is less effective against gram-negative bacilli and fungi, but it has got a good persistent effect. But its effectiveness is reduced by hard water and soaps. Alcohol, as I've mentioned previously, uh, alcohol is a very good disinfectant, intermediate level disinfectant. But uh, you have to remember that absolute alcohol, 100% alcohol is not a disinfectant. You need water for uh, uh, a disinfectant property of the alcohol. That is why 70 to 90% isopropyl alcohol is a good disinfectant. And if you are combining it with chlorhexidine, that is a very good skin disinfectant. Advantage is that it, is, it doesn't leave any residue, the effectiveness, but the effectiveness is moderately reduced by blood. It produces, frequent use of alcohol produces dryness of the skin and it evaporates quickly so the contact time is, maintaining the contact time is difficult. Formaldehyde, it is commonly used in most of the hospitals but it is an irritant and a carcinogenic. 
Now, uh, the, these are all aldehyde-based compounds, but not formalin. Glyoxal-glutaryl combinations are available in the market. Glutaraldehyde is not nowadays used in ophthalmic setup. There are hospitals which use glutaraldehyde for uh, uh, disinfecting the sharp instruments, but it is not advisable. Because for a proper high-level disinfection, you have to keep it immersed for 10 hours. There is no point in, in keeping it for 20 minutes and then using it for surgery. Chlorine, more than 0.5% can be corrosive, but it is a very good intermediate level disinfectant. Hydrogen peroxide solution is, cor uh, is uh, uh, corrosive, uh, but it is not recommended because it, 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 the, it loses its potency in heat. So it is not recommended in a tropical climate. But hydrogen peroxide vapor is a very good disinfectant. Phenolics, the usual carbolic acid which is used in hospital, it is uh, it's a intermediate or a low level disinfectant. It is not virucidal, sporicidal, and it is corrosive to skin. Quaternary ammonium compounds are low level disinfectants, but now recently uh, some of the quaternary ammonium compounds with even high level disinfectant property has come in the market. The disinfection levels, glutaraldehyde, the uh, hydrogen peroxide formaldehyde in high concentration can give high level disinfection. Some of the general guidelines for the use of chemical disinfectants, all the items have to be cleaned before disinfection. And the chemicals in the right concentration, right temperature and time has to be used. And it, one should never mix uh, uh, the, the detergents together and the, all the items must be dry. And never leave cotton or gauze soaked in antiseptic. Always take small amounts of solution from the main container and discard the remaining. Never leave it open and never keep instruments soaked in antiseptic solution. Thank you. We'll go for the video after Dr. Rajiv's presentation.